right, for this video, I am gonna be making a little hedgehog. I'm gonna need three pieces of brown and then one black. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue together two pieces of brown to make one long strip. So I'm gonna put a tiny dot of glue on the end of one, and then I'm gonna connect the other piece. Okay, then I'm gonna start coiling up this long piece, and this is gonna be the body of the hedgehog. Then when I'm all the way done, I am gonna squeeze this coil and then take it off and let it expand on the table. Then we ha have this little flap on our coil. So we're gonna put a tiny drop of glue and we're gonna stick it to the side to make a nice circle. All right, then I'm gonna start making the shape of the hedgehog. And um, I'm gonna do that first because then our little pokies for hedgehog will come next. We need to know how big we need. So the shape is kind of like a half circle. So I'm gonna try and um, form this to be like a half circle. So I'm gonna give a tiny little pinch down here and then maybe a tiny pinch over here. Okay, so we got kind of a half circle going on. I'm gonna take this side and I'm gonna curl it up just a little bit. Then I'm gonna create some zigzags for my spike. So with my brown, Okay, so I'm gonna take my little brown piece and start making zigzags. I'm folding it back and forth to make these nice zigzags. All right, keep going with your zigzag. My video kept on stopping, so I'm sorry about that. Then we're gonna kind of just guess how many gonna have to you how many spikes you want but we are gonna just add a bead of glue and then stick this to it so whenever you think you have enough tear it off and then we are gonna add some glue and then we're gonna just place this on the top there um, this will be probably the hardest part because it's gonna need some time to dry Even if you get like half of it stuck, we'll wait for it to dry and then we'll do the rest. We'll go back and press down the rest. So I'm gonna use kind of my, my cooling needle just to press up against the little hedgehog body. Okay. So I'll just get that tail piece a little bit later. Now I'm gonna add a little black nose. So I need it to just be super tiny. So I'm gonna start cooling my paper and then however big I think I need it I'm just going to tear off my paper so I think something very tiny like this would be great for its nose then now we want it to be a tight coil so I want it to be this tiny so I'm going to add just a drop of glue and make sure I don't have a lot and then curl and then I'm going to hold it here for just a little bit so it dries and it stays this nice and tiny. Then I can take it off. And now it's a super tiny tight coil. Now this will go for its nose. So I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of glue. And stick it to the nose. All right, now I'm gonna try and carefully fix this back little piece, but maybe I'll just add a drop of glue there. So the key is to not use a lot of glue so it dries fast. Otherwise, if we use too much, it'll take forever to dry. Okay, I think that will work. That will dry the best. Okay. Then if you want, you can add a little eyeball 
for some reason, I always have a hard time putting these on. So I'm going to put a tiny drop of glue on my hedgehog. And then we're going to place the little eyeball. So I just made this out of paper and I, oh my goodness, and I used a black Sharpie to add the dot. But I always have a hard time getting this on here. All right, so that looks pretty good. All right. Okay, so everything needs to just dry for a little bit before you move it, but that is the little hedgehog.